What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we have an update on our 6.0 Power Stroke build. What's going on that? And we're doing a quick little something to project slow and steady. Our project 7.3, we're getting rid of this license plate. This company is not even around anymore. This is now Honda Ford where I buy uh, about 40% of my crap uh, for the trucks uh, from those guys. So, <clears throat> Phillips Ford ain't a thing anymore. Anyway guys, but before we do that and before we get into our update on our 6.0 Power Stroke, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and what are you guys excited about for some of the stuff coming on the 7.3 here, we're just about to do all a whole bunch of crap to this. We're even talking for some tuning stuff, so kind of exciting stuff, mainly some maintenance stuff, but also something maybe a little exciting here. Uh, for Project 7.3, Project Slow and Steady as I affectionately refer to her as. Okay, now for the update on our 6.0 Power Stroke, what most of you guys have come here to watch. So, quick update, Kill Devil Diesel called me this past week and let me know that basically the whole bottom end is completely ready. So the block is machined, pistons are machined and coated, everything is all ready, all machined, blueprinted out, nice and ready. We have one problem. The cylinder heads aren't down there for them to go over yet. So we are waiting for the cylinder heads. The engine's about to get shipped down to Kill Devil. The engine that's in the 6.0 is getting shipped down. Uh, the cylinder heads there are gonna be reworked and then everything's gonna be sent up here to be put together officially. So super excited about all of that. Also, I have made a change to it. We are actually gonna go with one of Kill Devil Diesel's cams. We're not gonna stick with our Colt Stage 2 cam. Uh, I love the Colt Stage 2 cam. It's a great cam. The problem is that it's a good chance that that's the reason that the truck needs rebuilt in the first place. So I will say this, if you are getting a Colt Stage 2 cam, I would highly recommend valve clearance or uh, valve relief cuts into your pistons. Will some vehicles be okay? Yes, from what I'm hearing, but not all of them. Me being one of the examples of a truck that was not okay. And now the block itself wasn't machined on that build, so it's not like that was the issue that we shaved too much off and the pistons were coming up higher than they needed to. That's not it at all. So the pistons I'm getting do have, they are shaved off the top a little bit before being coated. So I am super excited for that. My guess is some of that is to accommodate the block surface itself being machined and prepped for the gaskets and everything coming. But just as a FYI, that's kind of, what I recommend at this time. So with the Colt, or not Colt, again, I did love the Colt Stage 2 cam. Truck ran phenomenal despite having a clear issue. Uh, that isn't anyone's fault that assembled it or anything like that, that this was out of our control. It's advertised as a drop-in cam. Some instances that is true, some it's not. Uh, talking to Kill Devil, they said this is sometimes even an issue with stock trucks that they've pulled them apart and have found that the valves have been hitting the pistons for a long, long time. So we have a Kill Devil diesel cam going into it and this should basically guarantee that we don't have issues. Everything, everything in this department is completely um, taken care of by Kill Devil. So the pistons and clearances there, we're having new push rods from them too, new lifters, everything's gonna be new. New uh, rocker arms so we won't be breaking them. Again, that was not a fun moment for me. So anyway, the bottom end is ready to go. If my engine was down there, we probably would be getting the engine shipped up, the build in a box shipped up now, but unfortunately that's not the case. So we're kind of just waiting on some things yet, but at least we're making good progress. I'm super excited about that. And in the meantime, we have some stuff here to work on to keep us occupied. Now, before we quick change this license plate over, I'm gonna give a quick refresher to everything happening on our Project 7.3. License plate upgrade, check. Uh, we have fog lights and headlight bulbs that are going in here tonight. I'm actually gonna get some shots of these, uh, the output on them right now. Yes, these do need cleaned up a little bit and I do plan to do that. I just don't have time tonight. Uh, plus we have bigger issues here. Uh, you can't really tell, maybe you can from the one shiny bracket right there, but the brake hose on this side's replaced. We need to do calipers and a full brake job up front. That's about to happen. Shocks all the way around. 
And that is everything I have right now on hand for this truck. I am talking to, I'm trying to get a hold of Matt over at Blessed Performance to talk about maybe some tuning options to upgrade. Oh, I almost forgot. The grill, here's the grill part of it. The other part is in there. You can't see that. But I forgot that we're doing the grill as well for the truck here, so uh, lots to keep us busy while we wait. Anyway guys, I just wanted to give you this quick update. We're going to quick change out the license plate right now because it's two screws and that's super simple to do. Alright, so new license plate here. My dad's a US Navy veteran, so he has that. Apparently he did not enjoy me making fun of him. I wasn't making fun of him. I was just giving him a very hard time about the fact that he's left this front license plate on for so long. I took my front license plate cover completely off of my uh, white truck. I can't remember if the black truck had one. If it did, I probably took it off. I can't remember. All right, we can throw that out. Anyway guys, I know that this is not the world's most exciting update by any means, but but I figured you guys would be excited about what's happening with the 6.0 and a good update, a good solid update on where we're at with that. And of course we got a lot of stuff here on our 7.3 that we're excited to do as well. So guys, stay tuned. If you enjoyed this quick, semi-boring upload, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop those comments down below guys. I'll see you in the next upload.